Hi guys, it's Crafty Mama Dawn here, and I just wanted to do a couple of pours for you using my three favorite colors together. So I've prepped two six by six canvases. This one is the half inch or three quarter inch. I've taped the back, and then I put in these um, pins to hold it up off the ground and checked for level. This one is a six by six deep edge, again, taped and pinned. And I've got my gloves on. I'm gonna do two foot cup dirty pours. I've checked the level. My paint mixture is already pre-mixed. I'm going to use gold, white, and black. These are a mixture of um, one part Elmer's glue, one part um, Floetrol, and um, one part paint, and then water to thin, and I like them fairly thin. So I've got two uh, cups here that I'm going to be putting the paint into and making the mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and get underway. Putting my black in first, my white. So far there isn't any silicone in this. I've got more than enough paint here. I'm sure of it. I am going to go ahead and put two drops of oil in each thing, and that is spot on treadmill oil. I have my gloves on, although I really don't think that I need them. I am going to do a quick stir just to incorporate the silicone oil. Okay. And I'm going to do a foot cup. So I'll let that sit for a second. This is not my normal setup for doing a pour video, um, but I just wanted to do one really quick this morning and, and see what you guys thought. I think I'll go ahead and flip this one as well. I just have a garbage bag laid out here. These are up off of the ground or up off the table so that they can drip. Oh yeah, more than enough paint here. And I do have my torch so that I can remove air bubbles. You can see this one's already going over the side. tip cover my corners Breaking my own rules, I do not have a wet towel. <clears throat> I'm going to torch one more time. Tray 
places. So this just goes to show you um, really quick here. Um, you can do, we, we, we poured them at the same time into the cup and they can still turn out just drastically different and yet very similar. So um, I think that's the thing that I love the most about the acrylic pouring is that you can have a color combination that you like and you can have a an application process that you like but really you get different looks with everything and that's the fun part of it really so I'm gonna set this aside now let's get this one a little bit farther off scoot this one off and then there's all right, sorry, I got interrupted there for a second. So these two are poured, and I have all of this on the bottom. So this is one of my um, fails. Everybody gets them. Uh, so I'm just going to scoop up with a palette knife here and make another pour. It's going to be pretty dark, but I'm going to put some white into it. To help lighten it up. So I'm going to set that down right there and then I'm going to take this one and kind of do the same. <laughs> because I mixed up way too much paint and I don't like to be wasteful. the side here and wipe the hands down again I am going to I'm sure you can still see this one so I'm going to go ahead and do a swipe with it come on well that wasn't how I wanted that to go but that's okay all right, so I'm gonna swipe the white across it and see what happens. both of these up, put them on top 
a little paint cup. Sorry, I'm not talking very loud. I apologize. So that's what the swipe just did to that. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it really changed the look. This one, not so much, so I'm going to swipe it again. Let's see if I can change that a look a little bit more. I did, so I will torch both of these now. Alright, so there I have done actually four pours, two intended, two secondary. Now when you do mixed media pours like this, the really neat benefit to it is that you can also use them then in mixed media pieces. You don't need to... Um, you know, just have a pour like this. It can be a beautiful mixed media piece that you add art to. Um, so I'm gonna pick up the camera here. Bring you in, excuse my messy studio. And bring you in to look at these two. Oops. And then we'll look at that. is uh, what I like to call a junk pour. This is the scrapings off the bottom of the plastic secondary pour with a white swipe over the top of it. And here is the second one. Here are the two original, black, white, and gold. And always I will put um, pictures of them dry at the end of the video. All right, so there it is. Once again, this is Crafty Mama Dawn with DBD Crafts, and thank you for watching.